Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to JoJo's Picks. Today I wanted to show you a little bit of what is going to be trending for fall. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. I go out to places like thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, the Goodwill bins, anywhere I can go pick up low-cost goods, a lot of clothing right now, to flip for a profit online. It's a good way to make a little extra cash, pay down debt, take a vacation, whatever you need money for. Um, so we're focusing, like I said, a lot on clothing right now. And I think a good way to think about clothing is you have to stay up on the trends. So I would like to show you how I start to research for the next season. And then I kind of know what styles people are going to be looking for. And then I can go out and find those styles when I'm in the thrift store, ideally the Goodwill bins, because if you don't know about the Goodwill bins, it's a place where you thrift through piles of used clothing and you can usually buy it for very cheap, like $1.50 to $2 an item. It's all weight based. So you can get a lot of good quality um, inventory for a really super low cost. So it's my favorite place to go and a lot of other people's too. But the way that I generally start looking at the next season is I'll go to popular sites like Eileen Fisher here and I've pulled up a few of my favorites um, for mature brands or brands that bring in a decent price per used item. Because some brands will sell high in the retail store, but it doesn't necessarily transition over to the secondary market. Um, one that has been doing well over the past few years is Eileen Fisher. So I went over and I wanted to see what she had new in for October and start to show you some of the style trends. So she is more of a login look, minimalistic capsule wardrobe type of designer. Uh, you'll see we've got some long line sweaters, long skirts, we've got this orange color. We've got long blazers, wide pants with a high waist. I'm sure uh, she's popular for her good quality wools and um, linens, uh, cashmeres, those types of materials and a felted wool was something I was noticing in her fall line. So you can just kind of flip down through and get an idea of what the log and look minimalistic trends are going to be. You can see kind of the muted colors, dark colors. Um, so that's Eileen Fisher. I also pull up uh, J. Jill because that's also a pretty popular store. Hers isn't as easy to see, or J. Jill's is not as easy to see. This um, kind of cherry cola color, I've noticed that a lot on Pinterest and Instagram. A lot of influencers are, are talking about that in shoes, bags, or having a pop of that into the fall outfits. So that's a color I've seen with influencers, like this kind of burgundy color. You can see more long line cardigans in the wide pants there. J. Jill's known for comfort clothing. You can see these uh, shirts that are almost a shacket, bordering on a chore jacket look, but as a shirt. You can see a little bit of eh, almost a western vibe there. Wide leg pants, high rise. You can see that that is uh, trending. Not a terrible amount of pattern here. I also pulled up Mother, because if you don't know about Mother, it's a very popular on the secondary market um, denim uh, brand. So I was going through here to look at what trends they have in their fall jeans. And I noticed out of everything, even if it was more of a slim, straight fit jean, they're all still high rise. Everything is still a high rise, you know, near 12 inches, 10 and a half to 12 inches is where 
eBay puts those uh, to make the high rise of the um, rise. They, I noticed, have some whiskering, distressing still. We have some embroidery. Some of them are still the ankle, but the one trend, you know, you see you've got some kind of distressed black denim, but the one trend definitely is still that these are high rise. I noticed some of them are still frayed on the ankle and you have some holes in distressing that way. I felt like these ones um, here almost still have the barrel leg where they balloon out a little bit in the um, in the leg. They're baggy in the leg through here. We've got some more um, straight leg or kind of a skinnier style. Still very high rise. A few denim skirts. Nothing's mid uh, mini though. You notice everything's to the knee or longer in skirts. That's one trend I was noticing. I also pulled up Johnny Was, another very popular designer that is influential in the trends. You can see that we've got this um, leopard print. That is something that I've even noticed walking around town, um, women wearing like some leopard print pants with a black top or a skirt, you know, just little pops of it. So you can see um, Johnny Was has put a lot of leopard print in here. Very tastefully though. And we've got some of the longer dresses. You're seeing this velvet trend is still carrying through to fall. So velvet, burnout, this witchy look. Everything's kind of midi, not everything, I should say. That one's short, <laughs> but we've got some embroidery and uh, a lot of the velvet. We've got fringes here, like the Western look. So you can see the Western vibe is still in. Velvet, long line cardigan. Very 70s inspired. I also went over and checked out, let's see who else did we check out here? We got Double D Ranch. If you ever find anything by Double D Ranch, even if it's um, terribly distressed, it can still go for good money. Uh, it's quite a very a popular brand. Um, you'll see that they have a high dollar on their items. They have some beautiful items too. So they're Western inspired, like a ranch wear. So you see here we have a velvet long tiered dress. This almost reminds me of the anthrop Anthropology uh, Somerset dress. That's a popular dress every year. Um, so as you flip through, you can see what is popular on the Western front. Uh, jackets, this is like um, Double D Ranch's Penny Lane jacket. It's got the uh, fur there and like a suede on the outside. Got some studded leather, little fur here, fringe. Just a great way to go out and look for these trends then. So if you see a long velvet um, kimono, cardigan, even if it's not in one of these brands, you imagine somebody's going to want that because it's a dupe for these these more expensive brands but people can still stay on trend and shop sustainably shop secondhand um, anthropology another good site to go do a little research you'll see kind of this jacket still has the pockets and such um, almost like i say i think of them as like almost a chore style jacket blazer here you know, I think J. Jill had the same one. You're seeing suede, very long line jacket here. And they hit on a lot of the trends, velvet, western fringe. And then they mix in, you know, some of the other things that are just anthropology. But kind of a cottage core dress here. long line sweater that's cable knit almost like a fisherman sweater but as a dress western inspired so you can kind of see the trends here so then you can take that 
with you to the thrift store. You can also then bounce back over to eBay. So I started um, delving into women's velvet maxi dresses. I wanted to see what kind of prices they're going for. So I pulled up the solds here. Um, the percentage just overall, they had like a 16% sell through if I didn't filter down by brand or size or anything. Um, so just overall they have a 16, but you can go in and look more specifically at brands, at sizes. I would imagine um, anything over XL probably has a higher sell through because um, it's, you know, um, is interesting to a wider variety of people. Um, you can also start to pick up some keywords here. Like we've got Y2K, 90s, fairy, grunge on this one. Nice price there for a vintage Rhapsody dress. Anthropology, the Somerset dress. That's always a popular one. And it's a velvet dress. And it's tiered. Burnout dress. This sold in the UK. You can also go through, like I don't, I've never heard of Baltic Born. I could take that and go do another search and find out, is Baltic Born a good brand? Is it something new? Because um, I'm seeing it here on the solds. Johnny Was, we've got an embroidered maxi dress there that sold. This Lulu's dress, velvet, sold. Lauren Ralph Lauren. These are all selling for a decent price. You can see they're selling for, you know, 25, 40 seems to kind of be an average. You can also go in and you can filter, um, you can put in like a minimum, like if you don't want to sell a dress less than $35, um, up to maybe say 150, you can uh, search that way. So now we've narrowed our search more. Um, this has got a lot of factors to it here. It's got the uh, Renaissance Gothic look, $80, Somerset dress, um, soft surroundings, black stretch velvet, long maxi dress, $50, DKNY. Another thing I looked up, um, I went and looked up women's long line sweaters for you uh, just to see what has been selling. Here we've got a nice $35 sale, stretch jersey cardigan, long line, 2X, $35, almost $12 shipping. That's a great sale. Um, vintage Curio, this was a wool blend sweater. That probably pushed that over the edge there. Talbots, this is a merino wool tweed. Nice sale at $37, and it's a 2XL. So you can start kind of seeing some of the trends here, what has been selling in sweaters. Long line. Here's a Brian Walker cardigan, XL open, long line. Long line, duster. This is a Wrangler. They took an offer on this one, so we're not exactly sure how much it sold for, but that really seems like it should be on trend. Forever 21 sold for $12 plus $5 shipping. You know, maybe worth it if you can get it for like a buck or two at the, uh, the bins and then sell it quick. It's uh, up to you what, what fits into your business model. Uh, Anthropology, this cardigan, extra small, sold for $50. That's a very nice sale. Pilcro, that's an anthropology brand. Cardigan, chunky cable knit, sold it for $36. Here we uh, have an Eileen Fisher, open front long line cardigan. Organic cotton silk blend, 3X, sold it for $67, nearly shipping. Torrid, that brand has not been doing so well anymore, but you've got a cardigan here, boyfriend, a lot of factors going for that, 2X, $22. Fat Face, that's a British brand. You can see it sold in um, the UK, but it has this Fair Isle Nordic. That's a popular trend that didn't really show up in our research 
for fall items. You didn't see it so much, but you should start to see it when they put out their winter lines. I also wanted to show you because I brought up that Penny Lane when I saw the fur trimmed Double D Ranch jacket. Um, these are just crazy cool jackets. Um, they've been popular, you know, about every 20 years it seems. 70s, 90s, now the 20s. Um, these jackets are like usually suede and then they have fur of some sort around the cuffs and the collar and the front trim. So if you find this in any brand, a Forever 21, anything, I would grab it up and, and give it a go. So what do we got here? We have pre-owned, we have 1300 and yeah, 1300 even, all sizes, all colors, all lengths. 1300 272 have sold already and 190 this one doesn't even have like a brand on it Johnny was very nice 120 BB Dakota didn't sell for a whole lot trip NYC 200 that's a good brand um, but that is definitely something to look for if you're out in the bins or, you know, anywhere. Then I also wanted to look into wide leg jeans and see which brands are kind of selling here. So we're going to go, yep, we got the used ones. Whoops, oops, oops, we clicked it. Let's click it again. Okay, so we're going to do a buy it now, used, wide leg, all sizes, all colors. We have just over 11000 for sale. 4,400 or so have sold. So we have Torrid, Black, High Rise, Wide Leg, Carpenter Jeans, $25, about $10 shipping. Judy Blue, we've got some High Rise. Um, Jay McLaughlin, we got some High Rise there. Citizens of Humanity, High Rise, Wide Leg. And what did I search for? I just searched for Wide Leg Jeans. So this is really showing truly the newest sales are all High Rise wide leg so that really is showing you the trend in a lot of different brands um, seven for all mankind made well yeah, old navy judy blue so if you find high rise wide leg they're worth a look especially from the bins because you can usually get them for two dollars so that's where i was going to stop with showing you research today if you have any questions or any way i could help you out with your research just drop it in the comments down below i'd love to help anybody out as always we really appreciate you stopping by and watching commenting subscribing liking anything you do while you're here so we'll catch you on the next one bye